Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuides.com and welcome to the latest in our Bravely Default Boss Strategy Guide video series. In this particular video we're taking you up against the sub-boss Durosso, the Vampire Asterix and widely regarded as one of the toughest bosses in the entire game. Now this mean man has got 150,000 HP so he's going to take a while no matter what you do and he's only weak to light. So a bit of a battle on our hands, so preparation is going to be key and taking the right characters in as well is going to make all the difference in this battle. So we brought in a ninja with Usasimi and Transience for counter attacks because he does like to use predominantly physical attacks. We also take in a user with a rampart, um, I believe we took in a pirate with the Templar rampart ability as a sub job. And that allows you to at least cast Rampart across all of your team. It does use 2 BP though every turn. So we made sure we had a uh, performer sorry, on hand to increase that user's BP on each turn. Now you're pretty much going to want a Salve Maker stroke healer combo as well. One of the key things Salve Maker will do apart from restoring um, your enemies is also to compound the Divine Rain which is glitter bugs times two. They're not expensive at all if you've unlocked them from the Ren village and bought them from the adventure and you can buy quite a few of them and they'll deal about 3,700 HP damage per turn. So that's a reasonable chunk off for each turn. And also don't forget as well that Selvin Maker has the item amp ability to give that boost, a little bit of an extra boost too to that attack. Now you're also gonna to wanna to ensure that pretty much your healer and Definitely the your person with the Rampart skill has the Hermes Shoes on or any other agility boosting stats because you're only going to get in there and acting before Dorosa does and he's not a slouch, he is pretty fast himself. So the performer as well will counter against his battle thirst move which will steal BP from particular characters. So this can be really, really troublesome if, for example, you've casted um, Rampart, putting you into negative BP, and then he goes and steals another BP from that particular character. Y your performer is going to mean that that character gets into the battle much, much quicker again. Divine Rain, as we've said, is pretty much essential from the Salve Maker, as it will do reasonably good damage, certainly compared to a lot of other weapons. By all means, if you've, hopefully by this point, you've unlocked all of the Rend Village, so make sure that any special weapon parts that you've got are all light tipped to at least give your special moves the best chance possible. And as always, make sure you go in with some special moves pre-unlocked as well. If you've got any physical attackers, try and hook them up with the hidden Excalibur sword that you could find in one of the previous levels, which is available in our guide, and the Holy Lance as well. Now the real issue of this guy is pretty much his massive hitch, his HP. So you're going to want to just basically stay focused as you chip away at his health. You're not going to do any massive, massive damage in one go. There's no compounds or spells that really allow you to do that. So effectively, you're just going to have to chip away at his health and make sure you're just paying attention as you're doing it. Keep your HP up with group casting cure spells because you don't want his Gravigan music, uh, magic sorry, to KO your entire team in a single go because it will take off up to about three quarters of your team's health in a single go. So make sure your health is up. Having said that, if you've got a Salve Maker, it's probably worth your while getting the, the parts that you need to create a Giant's Potion and then that will double your HP until you're KO'd or the battle ends, whichever happens first. And that will mean that even if you get hit with the magic spells and your other three team members go down, at least you'll still stay alive and you can use compounds to bring your other team members back in in additional turns. Don't forget, if you have any ablinks, if you have any summons, this is definitely the battle to bring them out on. Hit them with as many of those as you've got. We don't use any, so this is why our battle takes around about 22-23 minutes in total as we're more of a chip away effect. But if you've got ablings or summons, then you can do much greater damage to him and do even, you know, get rid of him even quicker again. If you find this particular being of some help, then no doubt you will find our complete guide to Bravely Default even more helpful. The game where we cover absolutely every single thing you could possibly want to know about the game. 
and that's available exclusively at GamerGuide.com. So we would love to, to check it out. It's of the same high standards, if not better than these videos. If you've got any feedback for us, we'd love to hear it on our GamerGuys.com forum, Twitter, Facebook feeds, and of course in the YouTube comments section as well. We read them all and we try to respond to as many as we possibly can. Thank you once again for taking the time to watch this video, to listen to my voice. We hope it's been of some help and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.
the immortal Lester De Rosso has been defeated?